So coming to sit tall, please. And shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Take them toward the space behind you and then drop them down. Feel the top of your head lift toward the ceiling. Let your eyes close. And let your effort around your breath relax a bit. Don't force the inhale, don't force the exhale. And as you do so, notice your breath moving in your body. What parts of your body move and expand as you inhale and contract as you exhale. And then notice the movement of your abdomen, belly expanding as you inhale, relaxing as you exhale. You just feel your breath relax into the space around your abdomen. Softening any gripping, holding, or tightening of the muscles in and around your abdomen. Inhale, feeling the belly expand. And exhale, feel it relax. We'll stay for just a few more rounds. And then taking a deeper, fuller breath. Bring your palms together. And lower the chin and honor yourself just as you are here in this moment. Body, breath, energy, and mind. And it's from this place within you that we'll practice tonight. Go ahead and rub the palms together, creating heat. Take the heated palms over the eyes. Brushing gently over the top of the head and down the neck, bringing yourself back to the space. Let's come on our, onto our backs to start, please. Take your time with that transition, but laying down and hugging your knees into your chest once you get there. And once you have knees to chest, it might feel good just to rock gently from side to side. Massaging the muscles around the spine and to the floor. This gentle massaging here. When you're ready, please bring your feet flat to the floor. Heels underneath your knees. And the feet are about hip width apart. We'll start with some arm movements and we'll add the hips in just a little bit. With your next inhale, please lift your fingertips toward the ceiling and all the way overhead, knuckles on the floor above you. As you exhale, reach back up and bring the arms back down. Inhale, reaching up toward the ceiling, then all the way overhead, knuckles on the floor. And exhale, bringing the arms back down. Good, inhale, arms lift. And this time, with your exhale, slow down the breath and slow down the movement. Go at about half speed.
and inhale, take the arms overhead again. And exhale again, slowly lower the arms down, slow down the breath, slow down the movement. Taking about, a twice, about as, twice as long as the inhale. Inhale, arms lift overhead again. And exhale, slowly bring the arms down again. Good, we're gonna keep the arms moving. Let's add the hips. With your next inhale, lift the arms overhead, pick up the hips, reach your pelvis toward the ceiling. And as you exhale, slowly lower the arms and hips down. Again, about half the speed of the inhale. But inhale, lift the arms overhead, pick up the hips. Exhale, half speed, both breath and body. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, down at half speed. Breath and body. Inhale, lift. Exhale, half speed. One more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower again at half speed. Good. Staying down when you get here. Feel the breath adjust. And then keeping your shoulders right where they're at, the feet right where they're at, pick up your hips and scooch them to the right side of your yoga mat. So just moving the hips to the right side of your mat. And then extend the left leg down to the floor and bring your right knee into your chest. Go ahead. Now keep the right knee drawn in and take your arms out to the side, making a T-shape with the body. We're doing cactus arms, whichever you can do. <laughs> Good, we're gonna move in and out of a twist and we're gonna use that slower breath. So take a deep breath in. With your exhale, slowly take the right knee across the body toward the floor on your left side. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, across at half speed. And try to keep the right shoulder grounding as you twist. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, half speed. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, half speed. One more time, inhale, unwind. And then exhale, take the knee across at half speed. And then go to your furthest point in the twist and stay there. Your left hand can come down on top of the right knee if that's helpful. Try to ground your right shoulder down and maybe even turn your chin to the right away from the knee. And even though we're holding the pose, see if you can keep up with the breath rhythm, inhaling and exhaling at half speed. So slowing down the exhale. Slowing down that exhale, slowing down the movements of the mind. With your next inhale, carefully unwind. 
Bring your feet flat to the floor, both feet. And then scoot your hips to center. And then scoot your hips to the left side of your yoga mat, keeping your shoulders in the center. Extend your right leg to the floor. Bring the left knee into your chest. And then keeping the knee drawn in, take the arms out to the sides again. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, slowly take the leg across the body toward the floor on your right side. Inhale, unwind. Again, slow exhale, slow movement, about half the speed, taking that knee across. Inhale, unwind. And continue, half speed. And try to keep your left shoulder as grounded as you can. Two more times. Slow exhale, slow movement. And take your time, but as you slowly exhale, taking the left knee to the right side, go ahead and stay. And the right hand can come down on top of the left knee for support if you'd like. And again, think about grounding your left shoulder. You can even turn the chin to the left if you would like. I forgot to cue it here, but slow exhales. <laughs> Good, all right, with your next inhale, carefully unwind. Bring the feet to the floor. Scoot your hips to the center of your mat, and then look up and make sure that that happened. <laughs> and make any adjustments you need to to make sure that your hips are in line with your shoulders. And then hug your knees into your chest again. And then bring the soles of the feet together in butterfly, holding onto the shins, the ankles, or maybe even the pinky edge of the feet and draw the feet in toward your body. Feeling the knees go wide. And taking some deep breaths here, feeling the hips open up. And again, I'll invite you to slow down that exhale. The intentional slowing down of the exhale induces the parasympathetic nervous system response, which is the opposite of your fight or flight response. It's grounding, it's calming, sometimes called the rest and digest response. A space where we can really restore When you're ready, carefully release the feet and roll to your right side. And we'll come up to a seat with your legs extending forward. Now for this exercise, if you have one handy, maybe grab a folded blanket. If you don't, you'll still be fine. But sometimes if, if you have a prop, it's helpful. <laughs> but I'll make sure it's not too crazy. 
Good. So you're going to keep your left leg extended and then bend your right knee, bringing the right foot to your inner thigh. Now, when we first come into this posture, the flesh of the seat starts to tuck under a little bit. So you have to reach back and kind of widen the flesh of, of your glutes. <laughs> Once you have that, you're going to sit up nice and tall and feel your navel turn more toward your left foot. Good. And then with your arm straight and your back straight, so we're not reaching here, we're not rounding the back, we're sitting up nice and straight, holding onto the leg. I want you to take a deep breath in. And with your exhale, hinge at your hips, bend your elbows, and just bring your chest closer to your thigh. Good. Then inhale, straighten the arms, sit back up. And then exhale, bend the elbows, bring the chest closer to the thigh. Inhale back up, try to keep the left foot flexed. Now let's slow down the exhale. Deep breath in, exhale half speed. Move at half speed as you come closer to the leg. Inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows. Good, inhale. And exhale, bend the elbows. Now stay at your furthest point here and reach your hands further forward toward the ankle. You do not have to grab the foot here, but holding onto the leg at this point. Good, now the arms should be relatively straight at this point, left foot still flexed. Take a deep breath in. Then exhale, bend your elbows again and draw your chest closer to the thigh. How far you go is up to your body. Don't overstrain here. Then inhale, straighten the arms. Slow exhale, bend the elbows, drawing the heart closer to the thigh. Inhale, straighten the elbows. Exhale, bring the heart closer to the thigh. Inhale, straighten the elbows. And then exhale, draw the heart close to the thigh. Stay at this furthest point. Walk your hands a bit further forward if they can. If not, just stay where you're at. Feel the arms straighten. And then one more time. Inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows. Draw the heart closer to the thigh. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, bend the elbows. Straighten the arms. Bend the elbows. One last time, straighten the arms. And then exhale, bend the elbows, drawing the heart closer to the thigh and stay here. Let the chin drop slightly, the back of the neck opening up and slow down that exhale again. Extending the exhale to be up to twice as long as your inhale breath. One more breath here. And then with your next inhale, carefully walk the hands back up the leg, sitting up nice and tall. Now, just from doing that one leg alone, you might start to notice this in uh, inducing of that parasympathetic nervous system. You might start to feel a bit more inward turned. You might start to feel a bit more tired or it's more like a, a restful feeling, but we're gonna try that on the other side now. So extending your right leg forward, go ahead and 
bend your left knee, bringing the left foot to the inner thigh. Now, again, you might have to widen the flesh of the seat back. Just go ahead and do that. Flex the right foot and sit up nice and tall, feeling the navel turn toward that foot. Great. So once you're there, go ahead and just bring your hands down onto the leg. The arms are nice and straight here. Take a deep breath in. And with your exhale, keeping the back relatively flat, hinge at the hips and bring your chest closer to the thigh. Good, now inhale, straighten the arms again. And exhale, bend the elbows, chest closer to the thigh. Good, take your time with this. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, slow down the breath, slow down the movement. Good, exhale to your furthest point, and then reach your hands further up the leg until the arms are straight again. Get a nice hold on the leg here. Take an inhale. Slow exhale, bend the elbows, drawing the chest closer to the thigh. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, bend the elbows. A couple more times, straighten the arms. Bend your elbows. Straighten the arms. And exhale, bend the elbows, going to your furthest point. At that furthest point, walk your hands further up the leg toward the, or I should say down the leg toward the ankle. Again, grabbing the foot is not necessary here. And just walk them there until the arms are straight again. And we'll do one more set. So take a deep breath in. Slowly exhale, bend your elbows, chest coming closer to the thigh. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, bend the elbows. About three more times, slow exhales. And with this next exhale, just stay at this furthest point. Keep the breath extended on that exhale. Two more breaths here. And then with your next inhale, carefully walk the hands back up the leg, sitting up nice and tall. and feel sensation. Good. So extending both legs forward now. Yep, we're gonna do it again, but with the legs forward this time. <laughs> and so you'll hold on to either side of your thighs. Arms are straight again. And I promise we'll do some counter posing for your back here. Good. 
Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the elbows, hinge at the hips, bring the chest down toward the thighs. It's a directional movement, not necessarily a goal. Inhale, straighten the arms. And exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, straighten the arms. And exhale, bend the elbows. At your furthest point, scooch the hands further down the leg toward the ankle until the arms are straight again. Feel the, the back flatten out here. Take a deep breath in. With a slow exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, bend the elbows. Straightening the arms. Bend your elbows. Now at this new furthest point, if you can, walk your hands further down the leg until the arms are straight again. Flatten out the back once you're there, even if you have to slide your hands back a little bit. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, straighten the arms. And exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, straighten the arms. And exhale, bend the elbows and stay at this new furthest point, breathing slowly with that exhale. One more breath. With your next inhale, carefully walk the hands up the legs, sitting up tall. Close the eyes and feel for a moment. Sensation in the body, but also that inducing of that calming grounding response of the nervous system. Good. All right, bring your awareness back. And we're gonna come on to the belly now. So if you had a prop, just go ahead and slide it off to the side and then roll over. And taking your time coming on down. Good. So doing a little bit of counter posing for some of that forward bending, we'll do some back bending. <laughs> so bringing the hands flat to the floor underneath your shoulders, elbows bending and squeezing in towards your sides. And be gentle with yourself here with these, um, <laughs> the names of my mind, <laughs> with, the, with these cobra poses. So with your inhale, roll the shoulders down the back, lift the chest, lift the head. And exhale, release down. Good, let's do that again. Roll the shoulders down the back, lift the head, lift the chest. Cobra, exhale, release down. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, slow the movement down, slowly exhale down. Again, lifting up, inhale. Slow the movement down, slow the exhale down. One more time. Slow exhale, slow movement coming down. Good. 
And then go ahead and come up onto your elbows. Sphinx pose. And so the elbows are just a little bit forward of the shoulder joint, the forearms and the hands flat on the floor. Glide your shoulders down your back, lift your chest. Think about lifting the belly up away from the floor as well and looking forward. And breathe. Good. Now from Sphinx pose, go ahead and cross your right arm in front of you. And you might come down just a little bit here, but try to keep the chest lifting. Bend your left knee, bring that left foot in towards your body. And then reach back with the left hand and grab the base of your toes. So not the ankle, not the toes themselves, but the base of the toes. Now, once you have that connection, your left hip is popping up off the floor. So roll the left hip bone back down and begin to draw the left heel in toward the left hip. All right, let's breathe here. Now it's tempting to drop the head down. I'm gonna ask you to keep the head lifting because one thing I know about stretching the tops of the thighs as we are now, that it can be quite agitating when we drop the head, kind of just makes it worse. <laughs> So keep the heart lifting, keep the head lifting and keep breathing. And if you'd like to slow down that exhale. Good, one more breath here. Now don't slingshot the foot down, carefully release it, letting it go back down to the floor. Good. So doing the other side, crossing your left arm in front of you to keep the chest lifting. Go ahead and bend your right knee, bring the heel in towards your body, reach back with the right hand and grab the base of the toes. Now again, the hip is popping up off the floor now. Roll the right hip down, then draw the heel in toward your hip. Keeping the chest lifting, keeping the head lifting, the right hip grounding, and slow down those exhales. Keep the head lifting. Now again, don't slingshot it. Carefully release that left leg or sorry, right leg down and cross the right arm in front of you. And you can bring your forehead down to the backs of the arms or hands. And once you're there, go ahead and bend both knees so the heels are pointing toward the ceiling. And then just windshield wiper the legs from side to side. And let that be loose all the way up into the hips and lower back. Breathe. Three, two, and one. Relax the legs on down. 
right, so from here, I'm gonna ask you to roll over onto your back again. So take your time with that. It's a lot of flipping today, just flipping over. <laughs> Good. Now, just so that we're in the right alignment, start in bridge pose prep. Heel stacking underneath your knees and the feet are about hip width apart. But we will not be doing bridge pose right now. We're we'll doing another exercise. So go ahead and walk your feet away from your body about six more inches and take your feet as wide apart as your yoga mat. Now, your arms can just relax out to the sides here. And keep your feet mat width apart the entire time. Good. With your inhale, allow your knees to fall to the right. With your exhale, draw your lower back to the ground, and that brings the knees back to center. Okay? And then inhale, take the knees to the left. And then exhale, draw the lower back down to the ground, and that brings the knees back to center. And we're just going to keep going from side to side. So inhale to the right, exhale, come back to center, grounding the lower back, and then inhale to the left. Exhale to center, inhale to the right. And just keep going on your own breath, inhaling to a side, exhaling to center, inhaling to a side, and exhaling to center. Now, if you want to get the neck involved, you can turn the chin away from the knees. And this exercise is helping to unwind tension in the hips, of course, but also the, all the way up into your lower back. And also helping to lengthen and stretch the iliopsoas muscle, this big wrap around muscle from the lower back around the side of the waist down into the groin in the front of your body. Side to side. A couple more times. And as your knees fall to the right this time, leave them to the right. The feet are still mat with apart. And we're gonna take this pose just a little bit deeper. So before we start, identify which is your right leg and your left leg. Sometimes when we're twisting, it can get a little confusing. And you're gonna take your right ankle, your right ankle, and place it gently on top of your left knee. Right ankle rests on top of the left knee. And that helps to traction the left leg out of the hip socket, lengthening the muscles around there and the iliopsoas, a big wraparound muscle. Now, if that just feels like too much, don't do it. Just come back with the ankle on the floor. But if you can, stay here and breathe. Again, the chin can turn to the left. No, I haven't cued it yet, but you're always welcome to slow down that exhale. Slowing down the breath, slowing down the movements of the mind again. And then from here, release the right ankle to the floor. Carefully unwind. Make sure the feet are still met with apart, and then take the knees to the left. 
but Shen can go to the right if you'd like to. Right. Now identifying your left side and your right sides. If you'd like to, you can take your left ankle and place it on top of your right knee. Left ankle, right knee. And again, that's traction the leg out of the hip socket, stretching all those muscles and connective tissue around the hip and lower back. And your chin can turn to the right if you'd like. And slowing down that exhale. Staying here for just another breath or two. And then carefully releasing the ankle and coming back to center. Might feel good to hug the knees into the chest for a moment. Good, from here, please roll to your right side and come back up to a seat. Good. So having the legs extended forward again, I'll ask you to bend your right knee, bringing it into the chest, okay? So we're gonna do two twists with one leg. So I'll, I'll explain as we, get, as we get there. So the right knee is bent. Your left hand is gonna come behind you, bracing you so you sit up nice and tall, all right? You're gonna lift your right arm into the air. With your exhale, bend the elbow and bring the elbow to the inside of the right knee. Now the right knee is pushing into the elbow, the elbow is pushing into the knee, you're gonna sit up taller, inhale. And with your exhale, roll your left shoulder back and look behind you. Breathe. Good, inhale, unwind, look forward. Hold on to the right knee with both hands, sit up nice and tall. And then take your right hand behind you. Inhale, lift the left arm up. With your exhale, bring the left arm down, hook the knee, just wrap the arm around it, and roll the right shoulder back looking behind you. Sit up a bit taller with your inhale, and exhale, roll the shoulder back just a little bit more. Stay and breathe. Good, inhale, unwind, look forward and extend the right leg down. And then we'll do that series on the other side. Bring the left foot flat to the floor, bring the knee in toward your chest. And if it's the left knee that's bent, it's the right hand that goes behind your back. Bracing yourself so you can sit up nice and tall. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, bend the elbow, bring it to the inside of the knee. Press the knee into the arm, 
Press the arm back into the knee. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale. Roll the right shoulder back. Look behind you. Breathe. Good, inhale, unwind. Holding on to the knee with both hands or arms, sit up nice and tall. And then we'll twist in the other direction. Left knee bent, left hand behind your back. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, sweep that arm around, hook the knee and twist, rolling your left shoulder back and looking behind you. Sit up taller with your inhale. And exhale, roll the left shoulder back a bit more. And stay and breathe again. Good, with your next inhale, carefully unwind. And extend the left leg forward, feel sensation for a moment. Good. And then I'm gonna ask you to bring the soles of your feet together in butterfly. So knees are falling wide. If you do have a blanket, go ahead and sit on it too. Sometimes just another inch to the spine can be helpful here. Good, so once you're in butterfly and it's okay if the knees are lifting up here, you're gonna hold on to the shins or ankles and you're just gonna start to flap the butterfly wings. <laughs> so feet are together and the knees are just lifting up and down gently. And you're sitting up nice and tall. These little micro stretches in the hip, helping the hips to loosen. And the rhythmic nature of it is actually pacifying to the nervous system as well. Good, and then go ahead and bring the knees into stillness, keep the feet together, sit up nice and tall, feel the arms straighten. You may know where we're going next. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hinge of the hips, bend the elbows, draw the heart forward. Good, inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, bend the elbows, draw the heart forward. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, bend the elbows, draw the heart forward. Inhale, straighten the arms. And then exhale, bend the elbows, draw the heart forward. Stay here. Now, if you'd like to, you can switch the position of your hands. So maybe holding on to the pinky edge of the feet or toes. Feel the shoulder blades roll down the back, feel the back flatten out even with that hinge at the hips. And if you're at your furthest point, stay there. If you feel like you might be able to go a bit further forward, take a deep breath in and exhale, bend your elbows a bit deeper, bringing the heart closer to the feet. Now, whichever point you've reached, let the chin kind of drop in toward the throat slightly, the back of the neck opening up. And slow down your exhale.
slowing down the exhale. And stay for just a few more breaths. Good. With your next inhale, please lift back up to a seat. Allow the eyes to be closed for a moment, feeling that downward movement of awareness and energy, a calming, a steadying. Bringing your awareness back, I'm gonna ask you to come down onto your back one more time. We'll do a couple of quick adjustments and then we'll come to rest. So once you're on your back, bring your feet flat to the floor again, heels underneath the knees, about hip width apart. And we're just gonna spend a few breaths in bridge pose. So pushing the feet into the floor, lift the hips into the air and just stay here. Two more breaths, pushing the pelvis toward the ceiling. And exhale, release the hips down gently. And hug your knees into your chest. Now, when you feel complete here, carefully extend your legs down to the floor and make your body ready to rest here for a few minutes. Feeling the body uncross, the toes falling out to the sides, your arm adjusting by your sides, unclenching your jaw, relaxing your eyes and forehead. And just begin to relax that exhale a bit more. Just take your time with it. Not efforting a lot to make it longer than the inhale, but just letting it linger before you inhale.
Peace. 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 Please begin to take a deeper, fuller breath. And make some gentle movements in your hands and feet, your arms and legs, bringing your body and awareness back to the space around you. And take your time as you roll to your right side. And joining me in a seat when you feel complete here. Bring your palms together, lower the chin, honor yourself as you are in this moment. And for all the work that you've done here tonight. And may that work and this practice continue to serve you. Namaste.